All right, let's get started. So I am going to use a pencil today before we do any drawing, um, markering because there is a bunch of erasing to do. So on our bulldozer, we're going to have the tread that goes around and I'm going to show you how to make that. The first thing I'd like to do is we're going to start with the inside uh, circle part and I'm just using, sorry, the end of a paint bottle. I'm going to do one I'm doing these in pencil first because I have to do some erasing. I'm going to put about one, two, maybe a distance of about three. Hold my second one. All right. And in the inside of that, I'm also going to make a smaller circle. If you want to find something that is smaller, you can. I'm not real concerned about them being perfect right now. All right, and the next part we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that goes from here to here. And we're going to take that beyond about like that. And we're going to do a second, we're going to, basically it's a big long rectangle. Like that, okay? All right. So inside here, we want to have some um, places where this is holding on to our bucket. So we'll put it right here. I'm going to put a, another rectangle about the distance of the height of these. All right. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw around this whole thing here. Okay. I'm going to come fairly close. I can go through that if I want to. I'm going to erase it anyway eventually. And I've come around my whole wheel section. Okay. Now, it doesn't really look like your bulldozer yet. And it doesn't look like the treads yet. But it'll get there. Let's go ahead and make our bucket. So where we have here, right at the middle here, I'm going to come up and I'm almost going to make a Y. See the Y there? And I'm going to make another line there. And then I'm going to make my bucket. So I'm going to come down, come turn there, and I'm going to do another one there. And I'm going to mirror that or do the same thing. Then I want it to actually get a little smaller like that. And that's our bucket. And we're going to put some dirt in our bucket. All right, and then what we want to do now is do a little bit of erasing. So I'm going to actually do a line here. I'm going to do a line there. I'm going to erase some lines. So I'm going to erase through here. I'm going to erase through here. And all along there actually is what I'm going to do. I'm going to erase that. And you'll see better when I start markering this, what gets erased and erased through there. Okay, so I'm going to marker this and come back and I'll show you. Okay, so there it is markered with all the lines erased. You can see where I've erased through here. So it makes it look like these are behind. Okay, the next part we want to do is go back to our pencil. We want to make this um, wheel that kind of goes in and out like this. So what I'm going to do is with a pencil, I'm going to go around and repeat that line just a bit bigger. And of course, now you have to go behind. Okay. And you can go ahead with a pencil or you can just go ahead with marker. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw and I'm going to come up and make little indentations or little um, protrusions in our tire. Well, actually, it's the metal part. It's not the tire. It's the metal part that goes around. Okay, you can maybe put one here. Okay, 
They should be all the same, but you know what? If they're not, not a big deal. But do notice that I'm going a little bit down along that line first, and then I'm coming up. I'm not just scooping like this, okay? I have to kind of figure out how many more do I have here. I think I have one more right there. I'll just make that a big long one. <laughs> That's okay. And now I'm also going to erase that line. Okay, so now we've got the bottom part of our bulldozer. Let's do our top. I'm going to use a marker right off the bat. You could use a pencil if you want to, if you want to be afraid of making a mistake. Okay, so out here, I'm going to kind of do a rounded body. I'm going to come up here fairly tall. And I'm going to round it around. You could make it pointed if you want. And I'm going to come about to the halfway mark here before I start going down. And I'm going to come down like that. And I'm going to be about the distance halfway here, about halfway. And I'm going to come forward. And right here, as I come around the corner, I'm going to give it the light that kind of goes out from it like that. And then I'll continue down. All right. If you'd done that with a pencil, what you could have done is just come down here, bring a pencil line, and then done it afterwards. Okay, all right, now we want to have our window and door. So what I'm gonna do is just trace around the shape here. And keep the same shape. I think our door is gonna open this way. So we're going to put the door handle here. We're going to put a couple of hinges in our door, just little rectangles like that, All right? We also have a pipe for the smoke to come out. And I'm going to put a little oval at the end like that to make it look like it's three-dimensional. We're going to give it some grid work here. I'm going to put maybe four, five, you could put six, how many ever you want. I think I'll put five in this one. My picture has six. I'm also going to put a front here. I'm also going to put a few radiator marks in here, maybe. Whatever it would be. All right. And our bulldozer, I think, is going to have a light on top. Maybe it's shining. Okay. And maybe the seat where the guy is or gal is sitting and they would have more of a stick shift as opposed to um, a steering wheel so i'm just going to put a couple of stick shifts here okay they might have a steering wheel not sure all right let's take a look at our colored one all right so here's the colored one that i did um, I decided to have a red bulldozer. I have my light shining. I did a little bit of that coloring dark to the edge to the inside. Now on this one, I also added two little gear type things in here. See, this one doesn't have it, but that's up to you whether you want to put something like that, like that in. I also made this one a little bit shorter. If you look at the difference, See how long? Well, it looks like the same distance, but the difference from here to here is different. Okay, so that really doesn't matter. If you want to make it longer, you just make your body longer. If you want to make it shorter, then you have a shorter body, right? Okay, so this has been a fun little project. Have fun with this, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.